In view of the extensive impact of COVID-19 pandemic on the electoral process in Nigeria, the Independent National Electoral Commission has designed a voter's code of conduct, VCC, for voters to vote in safety. 1. Wearing of face masks at polling unit and all election locations is mandatory. An improvised face mask using a handkerchief, scarf or such materials is acceptable. Please make provision for your own face mask. Face mask must be worn at all times, but an election official may request you to lower your face mask for proper identification when necessary. 2. Voting starts by 8.30 a.m. and stops at 2.30 p.m. 3. There shall be two queues formed at each polling location. Polling units the first queue will be the outer queue, somewhere outside the voting arena at the waiting area, from which an election official shall bring voters into the voting area in batches. The second queue, the inner queue, will be formed in the voting area. 4. By 2.30 p.m., an election official shall stand at the end of the outer queue, indicating that the queue is closed. Any voter on the outer queue at 2.30 p.m. shall be allowed to vote. 5. Queues must be orderly and voters on the queue must maintain a distance of 2 meters, 6 feet from each other. 6. Any voter showing symptoms of COVID-19 such as coughing, sneezing, among others, and a high temperature of 37 degrees Celsius or more will be requested to leave the queue or voting area and shall be attended to by designated officials. 7. Avoid unnecessary touching of surfaces or leaning on walls and other surfaces at the polling unit. You may request for hand sanitizer which will be given to you if available. 8. An election official may ask to clean your fingers with an antiseptic before your fingerprint is read with the Bimodal Voter Accreditation System. 9. Please show your voter's card to election officials whenever you are requested to do so. 10. After you cast your vote, move away from the voting area. If you wish to observe the counting of votes and announcement of result, you will be directed by an election official on where to stay. 11. Please ensure that you go away with your used protective materials such as face mask and hand gloves. Do not litter the polling unit. 12. Remember that cell phones or any other device that can take pictures are still not allowed in the voting cubicles. 13. Please obey all directives issued by election officials, including security personnel, and be orderly at all times. INEC shall not tolerate assault on any election official. Offenders shall be meters prosecuted for doing so. This video is a training guide designed to provide a step-by-step -step procedure and how to carry out your duties as an election official on election day. From the point of arrival at the polling unit, through accreditation and voting, sorting, counting of ballots, recording the vote, and announcement of results. Module 1. The polling team. There shall be a minimum of four polling officials in a standalone polling unit. Presiding officer, P.O., Ballot Paper Issuance and Overseer Assistant Presiding Officer AP01 Verification Assistant Presiding Officer AP02 Register Check, Inking and Statistics Assistant Presiding Officer AP03 Q Controller and PVC Checking Unit or Collation Centers on Polling Day Security Agents Candidates or the accredited polling agents Accredited domestic and foreign observers Accredited journalists and media Voters at polling units where they are registered only INEC officials on election duty Module 2 D. 
duties of poll officials. Ballot paper issuance and overseer is in charge of all activities at the polling units on election day, including polling, sorting, counting of votes, as well as the announcement of election results as follows. A. Takes delivery of and inspects all materials and equipment for election from the supervisory presiding officer and ensures their security, particularly the sensitive materials such as the ballot papers and result forms. B. Must be at the polling unit early at least one hour before the official commencement of polling to set up the polling unit. C. Coordinates activities under his supervision. E. Ensures that every person in the voting area is wearing a face mask, not having any insignia or unique identification of a political party. E. Paste posters EC30A, polling station poster, EC30A1, polling unit information, poster EC30B, polling zone poster, EC30C, voting in progress poster, EC30E, PWD poster, voter code of conduct poster, F, request the APO3 or any other official to loudly read out the voter code of conduct VCC. G. Issues ballot papers to voters and ensures that voters deposit thumb printed ballot papers into the appropriate ballot box. H. Issues a VIB, the Braille ballot guide or magnifying glass as may be applicable. I. Complete forms EC40H1, PWD voter information and statistics. J. Transmits election results as prescribed in the regulations and guidelines for the conduct of elections. K. Designates a safe area where voters who wish to observe the counting of votes and announcement of results shall wait after they cast their votes. L. Returns all election materials other than the results sheets and the bimodal voter accreditation system to the SPO for delivery to the EO after elections. M. Delivers the completed results sheet and bimodal voter accreditation system to the Registration Area Collation Officer, RACO. N. Reports any security incidents to the security agents at the polling unit and, where necessary, invites the police or security agents to maintain order, keep the peace or arrest any person committing an offence. O. Instructs the removal of a polling agent who aids and abates election malpractices at a polling unit. Q. Ensures that polling staff Accredited observers, polling agents, security, accredited media sign the attendance register in the polling unit booklet. R. Response to calls from the EMSC for periodic update of the election's progress and reports threats. S. Paste the completed publication of results poster EC60E at the polling unit. T. Transmits accreditation data using the BVAS. Assistant Presiding Officer APO1 Verification A. Works under the supervision of the PO. B. Assists with collection of materials from the SPO. C. Assists with the return of election materials to the SPO. D. Verifies and authenticates the voter using the bimodal voter accreditation system assistant presiding officer apo2 will assist with the collection of election materials from the spo will be responsible for the confirmation of voters details as contained in their permanent voter card pvc and the register of voters and ticks the appropriate boxes by the voters name before polling 
will apply indelible ink on the appropriate finger of the voter before polling. In charge of completing forms EC40H, PWD Voter Information and Statistics, polling units, assist in the preparation and sorting of ballots. Field publication of resort poster EC60E for presiding officer to sign and post. Assist in the return of election materials to the SPO at the close of the poll. Assistant presiding officer APO3 will be responsible for orderly queuing of voters. Arrangement of separate queues for men and women in areas where the mingling of men and women in the same queue is not allowed. Create separate queue for people with disability PWD. Determine if a voter is at the correct polling unit or voting point. Confirm that a voter has not voted anywhere by inspecting the cuticle of a voter fingernails. If satisfied, direct the voter to the APO1. Inspect PVC held by a voter. If the PVC is not for the polling unit, advise the voter to proceed to the appropriate polling unit. Module 3 Election Day Activities Election Materials Receiving Non-Sensitive Election Materials Before the commencement of the election, the presiding officer P.O. shall Step 1. Receive the non-sensitive items from the SPO. Step 2. Verify to ensure that all materials have been received and are in right quantity. The assistant presiding officer APO shall assist in doing this. Step 3. Record all items received on form EC25B, Electoral Material Receipt Form, in the polling unit booklet. Step 4. Sign the forms, keep one and submit the other to the SPO. Receiving Sensitive Election Materials the presiding officer, P.O., shall Step 1. Receive sensitive materials for use at the polling unit from the SPO at the registration area center. Step 2. Record on form EC40A the serial number range of the ballot papers and total quantity of ballot papers for each type of election received from the SPO. Step 3. Check the materials to ensure they are complete. Module 4. The Polling Unit Setting up the Polling Unit To set up the polling unit on election day, the presiding officer PO with his or her polling unit team on arrival at the polling unit shall Step 1. Remove all campaign materials, if any, from the polling unit. Step 2. Hang up posters such as polling zone, polling unit, voting process posters, and EC30E posters, etc. Step 3. Set up the layout of the polling unit in accordance with approved layout. Step 4. Arrange the tables and chairs to facilitate easy access for the voters and in line with the commission's approved format illustrated in the manual for election officials. Step 5. Set up the voting cubicle in such a way that the voter can mark his or her ballot papers in secret. Place the ballot box not more than 2 meters away from voting cubicle in the direction of the presiding officer and away from the polling agent. Step 6. Place one stamp part in the voting cubicle for use by the voter to thumbprint the ballot papers. Step 7. Place the register of voters, indelible ink and barrel on table 1 for use by the assistant presiding officer AP02. Step 8. Place INEX stamp, stamp pad, barrel and assistive aids on table 2 for use by the PO or APO V. Step 9. Check the Bimodal Voter Accreditation Systems BVAS for operational readiness. Step 10. Display the BVAS to all persons present at the polling unit to ascertain that total accreditation of the BVAS is zero 
by pressing on the query button. Step 11. Open the ballot box and display it in the full view of all persons present at the polling unit or voting point to show that the ballot box is empty. Step 12. Lock the ballot box with the seal provided and place it in not more than 2 meters away from the voting cubicle in the direction of the presiding officer and away from the polling agents. Step 13. Place the ballot paper and tendered ballot paper on the table. Step 14. Allow the accredited polling agents, observers and journalists to enter the polling unit and sign the attendance register in the polling unit booklet. Quick look at polling unit layout. Module 5 Polling Procedure the polling procedure to be used in this election requires a prospective voter to cast his or her vote immediately after being accredited. The accreditation process shall comprise of checking the permanent voter's card, PVC of the voter, positive identification of the voter in the BVAS, positive identification of the voter in the register of voters, authentication of the voter by matching his or her fingerprint or face using the BVAS and inking of the cuticle of the finger of the voter where applicable. Officer shall Step 1. Arrange tables and chairs in line with the polling unit layout. 2. Paste relevant EC30 series posters conspicuously at the polling unit. Step 3. Allow voters into the polling unit in an orderly queue. Step 4. Ensure that all electoral officials, APO 1, 2, and 3, properly sanitize their hands with the alcohol-based hand sanitizer provided intermittently. Step 5. Request individuals to lower their face mask for proper identification during voting processes where necessary. Step 6. Request the APO 3 or any other official to read out loudly the Voters' Code of Conduct VCC at the outer voting area and paste VCC poster conspicuously at the polling unit. Step 7. Invite the first batch of voters into the voting area. Step 8. Declare the polling unit open. Intending voter shall present him or herself to Assistant Presiding Officer AP03, Q Controller and PVC check who shall Step 1. Determine that he or she is at the correct polling unit. Step 2. Confirm that the voter has not voted anywhere by inspection of the cuticle of the fingernails and if satisfied, direct the voter to the AP01. Step 3. Upon inspection of the PVC held by the voter, if the AP03 discovers that the PVC is not for the polling unit, the AP03 will advise the voter to proceed to the appropriate polling unit. AP01 Verification shall Step 1. Clean the bimodal voter accreditation system with prescribed disinfectant at every use. Step 2. Request for the PVC from the voter. Step 3. Call up the voter's data on the BVAS by reading the barcode on the back of the PVC or reading the QR code against the name of the voter in the register of voters or entering the last six digits of the voter identification number VIN of the voter into the BVAS or searching the BVAS with the surname of the voter. On appearance of the voter's data on the BVAS, the AP01 shall ascertain that the photograph on the PVC is that of the voter and that the polling unit details correspond with those of the polling unit. Request the voter to place the appropriate finger in the place provided on the BVAS for authentication or, if this fails, match the face of the voter to the picture in the BVAS using the device's facial recognition facility. If the fingerprint or face of the voter matches, request the voter to proceed to AP02. The verified voter shall then present himself or herself to the AP02 who shall Step 1. Request for the PVC of the voter Step 2. Check the register of voters to confirm that the voter's name, details and voter identification number VIN are as contained in the register of voters. Step 3. Tick 
The appropriate box of the horizontal boxes on the right margin beside the voters' details on the register showing the category of election if the person's name is on the register of voters. Step 4. 5. Document the status of the voter if the voter is a PWD by completing the PWD form EC40H as prescribed. Step 6. Apply indelible ink to the cuticle of the specified finger on the left hand to indicate that the voter has been accredited to vote in that election. The presiding officer PO, ballot issuance and overseer. Once the voter is accredited, the voter shall present him or herself to the PO who shall. Step 1. Check the cuticle of the appropriate finger or thumbnail of the voter to confirm that he or she has been accredited. Step 2. Satisfied that the person before him or her has been duly accredited, stamp, sign and write the date on the back of the ballot papers for the respective categories of elections. Step 3. Fold vertically inwards and flatten the ballot papers. Step 4. Issue the pre-folded and endorsed ballot papers to the voter. Step 5. Request the voter to remove his or her cell phone or any photographic device before proceeding to the voting cubicle. Step 6. Direct the voter to the voting cubicle to mark his or her choice on the ballot paper. Step 7. Ensure that the voter deposits the thumb-printed ballot paper in the appropriate ballot box. Step 8. Where the voter is visually impaired, blind, VIB, PO shall issue to him or her the Braille ballot guide or magnifying glass as the case may be. Note, only a valid voter's card should be acceptable for accreditation and vote. Module 6. Closing of poll. The presiding officer shall Step 1. Announce the closure of poll at 2.30 p.m. and request the security personnel to stand at the back of the last person in the outer queue. Step 2. Allow all voters already in the queue to continue to vote until the last voter. Step 3. After every voter on the queue has voted, declare voting closed. Step 4. Cancel all the unused ballot papers by crossing them on the front of the ballot papers like this and writing the word cancelled between the lines or where available use a stamp cancelled on each of the unused ballot papers. Module 7. Preparing for Ballot Sorting In preparing for sorting of the ballots, the presiding officer shall Step 1. Obtain the number of voters accredited from the BVAS and record it on Form EC8A. Send the number of voters accredited from the BVAS to INEC back-end server. Count the number of accredited voters in the register of voters. Compare the number accredited by the Bimodal Voter Accreditation System BVAS with the number of ballot cast. Prepare party name tags for the various parties and for rejected ballots. Count the unused ballot papers and record the quantity and serial numbers of the unused ballot papers on Form EC40A. Count the counterfoils of the used ballot papers and record the quantity on Form EC40A. Put the counterfoil of the used ballot papers in envelope EC50F. Count any spoiled ballot papers, record the quantity and their serial numbers on Form EC40C. Put the spoiled papers in envelope EC50A. Announce the seal serial number to verify the seal. Cut the seal to unlock the ballot box and empty the content in full view of all persons present. Module 8. Sorting Procedure The presiding officer P.O. shall Step 1. In the case of a general election, sort according to the type of election. Sort the ballot into separate piles for each political party and one pile for rejected ballots. Step 2.
two, loudly count the votes scored by each party in the presence of the polling agents and observers. Allow recount of votes on demand by a polling agent provided that such recount shall only be allowed once. Step 3. Write the word rejected in the front of every rejected ballot. Step 4. Show all rejected ballots to the party agents and observers present. Step 5. Where any objection against such rejection is raised by a candidate or polling agents, write the words rejected but objected to on the front of the ballot. Step 6. Count and record the quantity and their serial numbers on Form EC40B. Step 7. Put all rejected ballots in envelope EC50A. Step 8. Enter the scores of the candidates in both figures and words in the appropriate forms EC8A. Step 9. Cross-check the scores of the candidates or parties and the totals. Step 10. Fill the form EC60E and paste it conspicuously. Pasting a form EC60E is mandatory. The PO shall then Step 1. Sign, date and stamp the appropriate EC8A forms. Step 2. Announce loudly the vote scored by each political party. Step 3. Request the candidates or their polling agents where available at the polling unit to countersign. Step 4. Refusal of any candidate or polling agent to countersign the appropriate form EC8A series shall not invalidate the result of the polling unit. Step 5. Keep the originals of EC8 series and the first pink copies for the commission. Step 6. Give to the polling agents and the police a duplicate copy each of the completed forms. Step 7. Post the completed publication of result poster EC60E at the polling unit. Step 8. Complete the EC40H1 for PWD information and statistics. Step 9. Complete the PWD information boxes in the PU booklet. Step 10. Transmit the election results electronically to the collation system as prescribed in the regulations and guidelines for the conduct of elections. Step 11. Use the BVA to scan or take picture of the completed form EC88A. Step 12. Upload the scanned copy of EC8A to the INEC result viewing portal as prescribed by the committee. Step 13. Take the BVAS and the original copy of the form EC8A in tamper evident envelope to the registration area or ward collation officer in the company of security agents. The polling agents may accompany the presiding officer to the RA or ward collation center. Please note that at the close of polls, the PO and APOs shall ensure the materials are properly disinfected, carefully packaged, and used personal protective materials are hygienically packaged for disposal. Reusable personal protective materials shall also be carefully packaged and sent to designated collection points. Model 9 Counting Procedures Immediately after sorting of ballots, Presiding Officer P.O. shall Step 1. Loudly count the votes scored by each political party. Step 2. Write on a sheet of paper the number of valid votes scored by each party to allow for cross-checking before recording same on Form EC8A series. Step 3. In order to ascertain the number of used ballot papers, Verify the result of the poll at the following. A. The number of spoilt ballot papers. B. The number of rejected ballots. And C. The number of valid votes scored by each political party. Step 4. Verify the results according to the prescribed procedure. Step 5. Enter the scores of the candidates in both words and figures in the appropriate forms, EC8A. Module 10, 
recording of votes on Form EC-8A series. The presiding officer P.O. shall Step 1. Record the number of registered voters as contained in the register of voters. Step 2. Refer to Form EC-40A to record the total number of ballot papers issued to the polling unit and the number of unused ballot papers. Step 3. Refer to Form EC-40B to record the number of rejected ballots and Form EC-40C to record spoilt ballot papers. Step 4. Record the valid votes scored by each of the political parties in figures and in words in the spaces provided. Step 5. Add up and record the total valid votes scored by all the parties at the bottom of the form as well as in the box for item 7 at the top of the form. Step 6. Add up the number of spoiled ballot papers plus the number of rejected ballots plus the total valid votes to get the number of used ballot papers and record same in the box provided. Step 7. Cancel not contested phrase at the bottom of the Form EC8 series where election was held. Step 8. Write his or her name on the relevant Form EC8A with stamp and date. Sign on the form and request the polling agents present to countersign it. Step 9. Loudly announce the result of the poll at the polling unit for the information of those present. Step 10. Give duplicate copies of the completed form EC-8A to each of the polling agents and police or any other security personnel present at the polling unit. Step 11. Complete the result poster form EC-60E and paste it at a conspicuous place in the polling unit. Module 11. Packing up. Following the completion of recording of the votes on Forms EC-8A and or EC-8A1 and 2 and the presiding officer P.O. shall Step 1. Put the original Form EC-8A and or EC-8A1 Statement of Result of Poll from the Polling Unit in the temper-proof envelopes and complete the Form EC-40H1 from EC40H. Step 2. Gather the other envelopes containing the following items separated during the sorting process. 1. Envelope EC50A. Envelope containing unused ballot papers. 2. Envelope EC50C. Containing counterfoils of ballot papers. 3. Tendered ballot papers and form EC40F, tendered ballot statement. 4. Envelope EC50A, containing rejected and spoiled ballot papers. Step 3. Put the following envelopes in the ballot box. 1. Envelope EC50F, envelopes containing counterfoils of used ballot papers. 2. Envelopes containing the used ballot papers, envelope EC50V. Step 4. Seal ballot box with the seals provided. Step 5. Put all the remaining envelopes in the INEC bag. 1. Temper-proof envelope containing the original copy of Form EC8A, EC8A1 Poland Unit Booklet where applicable. 2. Envelope EC50B containing the register of voters and tendered vote list. 3. Envelope EC50D containing polling unit booklet. 4. Envelopes EC50A containing unused ballot papers. 5. Envelopes containing tendered ballot papers and form EC40F. 6. Envelopes EC50A containing rejected and spoiled ballot papers. 7. All extra copies of Form EC8A, EC8A1 and all miscellaneous materials such as the INEX stamps, indelible ink, stamp parts and barrels. Step 
6. Proceed immediately to the Registration Area Ward, RA Ward, Collection Center, and nowhere else, accompanied by the Assistant Presiding Officers, APOs, Party Agents, and Security Agents, with I, INEC Bag, II, Ballot Box, III, Voting Cubicle, IV, Bimodal Voter Accreditation System. Step 7. Submit the completed original copies of Form EC8A Series and EC40H and EC40H1 contained in the tamper-proof envelope and the smart card readers to the RA Ward, CO and all other materials to the SPO. Once all these steps are followed and completed, you have successfully completed your election day activity as an election official. Good luck.